what is up guys it's your bear here and i'm bringing you how to get to the testing hall on oblivion now this is not pc or a different system this is for the xbox 360 now i looked for these videos on on youtube and i could not find an updated one um they were they all said three years ago four years ago and they were just ugly so yeah this is for my 200 subscribers and this is a 200 subscriber special hope you like it okay guys right here um you don't want to go to the abandoned mine and yeah um those were the really the requirements i will put the links in the description to download those programs now this is just proof right here that it's on the xbox 360 no lies nothing this is legit xbox 360 now the you have to go to the abandoned mine it's in like just look at it reveal and then go all the way to the right go a little up and just put a marker there just set a marker and you should get there or if you already found it just fast travel there now right there when once you go in the abandoned mine it, that's how you're supposed to look like and exactly how it is right there you have to be and you have to be standing under the lamp now save the game and go to your dashboard your Xbox 360 dashboard now here's more proof that it's Xbox 360 and this video is not old. It's the new dashboard for 2013. Now you want to go to settings. Sorry if it takes me a while to get there. I'm trying to think. Go to storage. You have to have a USB. Remember that. And you want to copy or move. It's your choice. Copy or move. And I have some trouble finding out which one it is. Which one it was, I, I forgot. I'm sorry, it just messed up. And the one I pass over is the wrong one. But but later on, I switch it to the right one. Which is that one. That one's the right one. But I accidentally um, moved the wrong one. But I do change it to the right one. Now, now you ch I'm just checking if it's there. See, there it is, right there. So, guys, yeah, I'm going to the PC part now. And okay, guys. Now, once on you're on your computer, you're going to want to plug in your USB drive onto your computer. Now, sometimes you might get this simply because you've been, um... What well, happened to me? Because I've been, um customizing the into an xbox um hard drive type thing but it's if you just put continue um continue without scanning it should work now you need to download horizon it should be on on the link in the description to download it now you should get this automatically once you start it up if you have your usb plugged in already you're going to want to go to games and Oblivion, and you're gonna want to look for the save file. This is mine's. We're gonna want to extract selected file. I'm gonna extract it here onto my desktop. Now, once you've done that, just close them and you want to open up Hex Workshop. Which is already open, sorry. Now, you use file and open. Just look for the save file, which is right here. And you just see this and you get all freaked out. What the hell am I supposed to do? Now, I'm going to show you what you have to do exactly. Now, don't worry, guys. Don't panic. You don't have to do very much on here. 
what you have to do is go right here to where it says fine where you see my mouse and it should look like that and you're gonna want to write that right there and it should put on hex values and it should put that automatic and everything and just put OK. Now you see that right there? You're going to want to um, change them for 9 to D B. Now they have to be in capital. So don't worry guys. And then 0 3 0 0. Now, once you've done that, you're going to want to save it. Um, if you would like to make a backup, um, make it if you want. I'll put yes. Now, once you've done that, you're going to go back into Horizon. Go back to your device explorer. Inject new file. And not this one that says back. That's the backup file. You're going to want to say, put the one that says file. Yes or no. And should work. Now, um, some videos they don't show it. But you're supposed to click it. The one you just, the one you just edited. So you can get to the testing hall. You're going to want to press mod. And... Oh, sorry guys. You're going to want to press mod and just save. And once it saves, that it should say that. Okay guys, right here. Go to system once again and go to your storage. And you're going to want to put it back, like move it or copy it back to your hard drive. The one you just modded, really. The one you just edited and modded and stuff. Just move it or copy it back to your hard drive. And here's just some proof that I did. Now just launch Xbox, um, Oblivion. Just wait till the game loads and um load just load the save. And if it says this game say is corrupted, um you did something wrong. Um you're probably gonna need to re-put the same the same game save onto your into the computer and rehash it like go um put it on horizon. And mod it and then save it on there. Like I did on the video. Now once you if you did it right, it shouldn't it should have just loaded correctly. You should end up in this house. And yeah. Leads you to another door. And yeah, this is the testing hall really is everything in the game. Like all the items, all the weapons, all the armor. And once again, some more proof that it is on the Xbox 360. No joke. I know some people, they try to trick you. Because you can also use an Xbox control on the computer. So yeah, but that was just some more proof that it's legit. I'm not lying. And here's all the armor. Now I just want to say my favorite armor is the ebony armor. I don't know why. Daedric, it's really nice, but I prefer the Daedric in in Skyrim. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you like this guide. And yeah, um, I'm just gonna tell you right now. Um, I'm going to show you where to leave, where's the door so you can go back outside so you can 
fast travel anywhere you want again. And yeah, it's door to Hawk Haven. That's that's the door. That's the name of the door. And I do show the door and leaving and fast traveling and stuff. And I do show some proof that that you do keep the stuff. You can still keep the stuff afterwards. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and like. If you like, if you would like some more guides, tutorials, just tell me, message me, put it in the comment on one of my videos. Ask me. And for, I do it for any game. I do anything for my fans. Well, not everything. I mean, like, for example, if you really need help, a guy walk through for a game, a certain game, any game, just tell me. Um, like, for example, a game that I don't have, Fallout 3, or um, practically anything. A guide, a trophy guide, anything. Grand Theft Auto something just tell me well yeah guys once again thanks for watching and thank you so much for the 200 subscribers so yeah peace My pleasure, really. This is a wondrous encounter. <laughs>